This edition of My Thoughts Monday is brought to you by Valve Performance, the team behind the Nordboard, Four Stacks, the Groin Bar, and Human Track. Guys, the most important ability for all of our athletes is availability, and that's the absolute goal of Valve Performance, is to provide solutions to performance professionals so that we can get the right information to make the right decision at the right time for the betterment of the athletes that we get to work with. To do this, guys, they have a wide range of validated products that focus on usability, and having been founded by the School of Exercise and Nutrition Sciences at the Queensland University of Technology, they're extremely evidence-based and they're beyond transparent. I can tell you that our time using the Nordboard and being involved with Forstex, we have been introduced to so many amazing people that have truly helped us become better coaches, have a better understanding, not just of the technology, but also what we're doing with our athletes. So make sure you hop over to ValPerformance.com today to make sure you check out what they got. It's going to make you better and to do better by your athletes. The world of strength and conditioning is filled with some awesome practitioners who are always trying to evolve and continue to grow professionally throughout their career. The problem with many of us, though, is finding a new outlet, a new way and a new perspective on the questions that we may have, whether it be programming whether it be situational with dealing with coaches, or whether it be career advice. Because all too often what happens is we get stuck in with the same group of friends and the same group of colleagues that we reach out to for advice repeatedly over and over again. But what we should really be looking for is different perspectives, different people who have been through different situations who can help us make better decisions both for ourselves and our athletes. And one awesome place to start with that is the forums in the Strength Coach Network. In the forums in the Strength Coach Network, you'll be able to reach out and get feedback, input, and advice from coaches from all over the world, from everything, from career advice to training modalities to programming. There's people there just for the same reason as you are, to try to get better, to learn, to share information, and to grow the field of strength and conditioning. So hop on over to strengthcoachnetwork.com slash cvasps. That's strengthcoachnetwork.com slash cvasps to dive into all that great content today and get your 48-hour trial for only a dollar. I look forward to seeing you in the Strength Coach Network. Hey, what's happening, everybody? Jay DeMeo coming at you with this week's edition of My Thoughts Monday. And today, guys, I'd like to use this opportunity to kind of answer what is turning into a more frequently asked question for me um, to, to sort of share my thoughts about kind of this world that we're living in right now in college athletics where there seems to be a, a, a shift going on. Um, and I don't know if you guys all follow us on Instagram or not. If you don't, please do. But if you do, you've noticed that as I've been telling you I was going to do for the last Lord knows how long, um, I've actually been trying to put up more videos and examples of things that we do and even included a couple examples of like readiness and you know monitoring and what we do when we look at these specific numbers and how those impact what we do in training um, it's probably well overdue it's definitely something that I've been talk to, talking about wanting to do gosh forever um, so I apologize it's taken this long but I'm happy that it seems to be taken well uh, and it seems that people are enjoying it and hopefully taking something from it because I do think there are some things that we do that maybe aren't necessarily special but might be a little bit unique um, and, and might be helpful to people so I'm glad that they're being you know accepted and people are, are, are looking at them and, and taking something from them but the one question or statement that most of these people have asked or people have asked you know outside of these four you know these four individuals is that why is it you that you're using as the example? And I think that that's a fair question. You know, I, I think that this is not just as simple as the answer, as the first half of the answer, which the first half of the answer is simply this. I've got a hard time coaching when I'm trying to record something. I'm going to be real with you. I'm not good at it. Maybe it's because Greybeard is just a little too old. Uh, maybe it's because I'm a little too naive and and new to these situations when it comes to all this stuff, but I, I get a little sidetracked with it, and, I, and I'm trying to do too much with it. Now, I don't, I don't mind recording something to show one of these young people 
here's a here's something we need to do better or here's where you were and look at how much better you're doing um, but sitting here and trying to turn something into a post I'm just I'm just not good at it so that's 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 reason one is with full candor is, is because I, I just I'm not good at it but reason two um, is, is because this landscape is changing and Reason two is, is simply personal. I'm not sitting here trying to tell you how to do you. I'm not sitting here trying to tell you what you should be looking at, looking for, or how you should be acting or handling the kids that you get to work with. So please don't take this as any sort of me trying to you know tell you how to do you. This is me telling you why I do things the way I do them. And I don't record and utilize the likeness of the student athletes that I get the opportunity to work with because of the landscape of college sports that we're, we are in right now. Um, working in college basketball, and those of you in college basketball have heard multiple times the idea that you know, these kids need to get paid, right? People say that all the time. And I'm not going to get into whether I think they should or they shouldn't. Whole nother talk. Don't want to get into that. But now, there seems to be more of a leaning towards these young people being able to monetize their likeness right so whether it be their picture on an advertisement or their name and number on a jersey or whatever it may be it seems as though that's the direction that this is going and it started already uh the state of california passed legislation saying that in i believe 2023 these young people are going to be able to monetize for their likeness um in whatever that means, right? So I guess that that then opens up two questions, right? One is, well, how does a state have the power over the NCAA to say you have to allow these kids to do this when the NCAA is a private organization and can say, if you do this, you can't compete in our championships anyway, so whatever. Again, another talk for another day. Um, But two, where does that leave us then, right? And my situation may be a little unique where this is a business, right? CVASPs is a business. We run the seminar. We have our books. I'm involved in the Strength Coach Network. So there are things that we are selling. So, you know, this content is bringing people around and they're getting interested in these things. And then hopefully you're interested in the stuff, whether it be the podcasts or the videos that we post or whatever it is that you come out to Richmond in July and you join us for the seminar because it's really an awesome weekend. Uh, But if there is the opportunity for me or anyone to make money based on what the content we are putting out in social media is and the brand that we are building through social media and if you follow any of the teachings I guess you could call it of Gary Vaynerchuk if you have a Facebook Twitter Instagram LinkedIn Pinterest page whatever it may be and you put content out there pictures words videos sound whatever it may be then you have, then, then you're building a brand. You're building your personal brand. And if that personal brand is going to allow me to better myself and I'm using them to do so, well, then I don't know if I feel that that's the right way to do it. Now, I mean, again, I'm not telling you how to do you. I'm not telling you how to do it. I'm just answering the question, okay? And it, again, that's been asked quite a bit. So if you want to know why, I post videos of myself doing these things. It's not because I think that I'm this, that, or the third, or I want to be in the spotlight or any of that. I'd love to have my guys in there. I, you know, I just came in for an extra workout today, and there were a couple guys who wanted to train with me. I would have loved to videotape them and had them be the demos of what we were doing. But if we're running down the rabbit hole of being able to pay athletes and we're going to make money and better ourselves by using their likeness, and we don't, then I don't know if that's cool with me. And again, I'm not telling you how to do you. I'm not telling you how you should handle it. I'm just sharing with you my opinion of it and why I don't have my student athletes in the videos that we put out. It's, um, it's just my personal opinion. It's just my personal view. I know for a fact that every kid that I've spoken to has zero problem with me recording them and putting them on my Instagram. As a matter of fact, I could probably name right off the top of my head 13 of them that would want it, that have told me they want me to do that. But I still don't feel comfortable with it. So 
I'm going to still record myself and do that until there's a day where some legislation is passed and some rule changes, or maybe I look at it and I take the words of Sam Portland where he said, you know, you are also doing all this work for them and they're not paying you either. Um, And he's right. And I think that that's a great other way to look at it. But unfortunately, just I just see it that it's probably easier for me to use myself and to avoid any conflict in the situation that may arise in the future. So those people that asked, they're big time people to me. They're real important to me. And I've gotten a few other DMs asking why I don't use the guys or use my swimmers. And that's why. So um, until changes are going on, I apologize that you got to stare at my ugly mug, but I hope that you still continue to learn from everything that we put in, uh, we put out here at Central Virginia Sport Performance, because I truly do appreciate everything you do, you know, everything that everyone out there does for us, you know, whether it be liking and sharing the content or liking and sharing the, the, the podcast and the reviews or whatever, you know, that it means the world to me and, uh, just trying to do the best that we can for you guys. So. As always, truly appreciate everything you do for us. We'll be back next week with another My Thoughts Monday. I will see you then.